how to activate your ProtonMail short domain at PM dot me email address. All right, guys, before I take you through the process of activating your short domain email address, I'm first going to give you a bit of background. It can be inconvenient to spell out your at protonmail.com email address when sharing it with others. We've created short domain email addresses at pm.me to simplify this process. All ProtonMail users, except those added as part of an organization, can activate a separate at pm.me email address at no cost. For example, if your username is John, you can activate john at pm.me to complement your existing john at protonmail.com address. All users can receive emails at their at pm.me email address, but sending emails from our at pm.me email address requires a paid account. When you activate your at pm.me address, it does not count toward your account limit for creating multiple addresses. However, paid users users can also create additional addresses using the at pm.me domain, which will count toward your limit. Note that the short domain address at pm.me linked to your username cannot be disabled or deleted. So please keep that in mind, guys. So just to summarize those paragraphs, guys, basically the short domain email address can be activated for free on all ProtonMail accounts, except those as part of an organization. If you have a free ProtonMail account, you can only receive emails on your at pm.me email address. However, if you are a paid user, then you can also send emails from your short domain email address and receive emails also. All right, guys, with that introduction over with, I'm now going to show you how to activate your ProtonMail short domain email address. To do this, the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, https colon slash slash protonmail.com. And this will take you to ProtonMail's homepage. If you don't already have a ProtonMail account, I'll put my referral link in the video description below for you to use to sign up to ProtonMail. Once you're here, guys, left click on login and enter your ProtonMail account details. Now, guys, I've already logged in before starting this video and therefore I'll immediately be logged into my ProtonMail account. Once you're also logged into your ProtonMail inbox, look for the button which says settings. For me, guys, I'm on the ProtonMail webmail and therefore the settings button is at the top right hand corner here. Once you've found it guys, left click on it and then click on go to settings. Once done, you'll be in your general settings and under general, you can see it says short domain at pm.me. Add a at pm.me email address to your account. This simple shorter domain stands for ProtonMailMe or private message me. Underneath, you'll see a button in purple which says activate and then your ProtonMail username at pm.me. All you need to do to activate your ProtonMail short domain email address is left click on this button. Once you've done that, guys, you'll be prompted to sign in again to continue. All you need to do, guys, is enter your password in this box here. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you've entered in your password, left click on submit. Once done, you'll be greeted with this little notification here, which says generate missing keys. Before you can start sending and receiving emails from your new email address, you need to create encryption keys for them. You have three different types of encryption keys here. You have high security RSA 2048 dash bit, which is the oldest out of the three, but faster. And this is pre-selected for you by ProtonMail. You can go with this if you want. There's two other options here. High security RSA 4096 dash bit. This is secure, but slow. And lastly, the final way to generate an encryption key is state of the art X25519. It's modern, fastest, and secure. Because it has all three traits that I like, modern, fastest, and secure, I'm going to be going with state of the art. So I'm just going to left click on this circle here to select the state of the art option. Underneath, you can see your Proton Mail short domain email address. And right next to it is the status, which says queued. Once you're ready to generate the encryption key for your short domain email address, all you need to do is left click on submit. And as you can see, guys, the status has changed now to done. All that's left to do now is to left click on done. And under short domain, Domain at pm.me, you can see the text has changed here. It now says you can now receive messages from your at pm.me address. Upgrade to a paid plan to also send emails using your at pm.me address and create additional at pm.me addresses. As you can see, guys, ProtonMail conveniently offers you the ability to upgrade your plan if you want to by clicking on this purple upgrade button right here. For me, guys, having the luxury of receiving email addresses with a shorter ProtonMail domain domain name for free is really convenient. It would also be nice to be able to send emails from the short domain email
email address, but that's a compromise I'm willing to live with. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. But before I end the video, I'm just going to show you how you would go about sending an email using the at pm.me email address. So I'm just going to go back to my mailbox here by left clicking on the back to mailbox button at the top left hand corner here. Great, I'm now back in my inbox. I'm just going to left click on new message here at the top left hand corner to create a new message. And as you can see, we are now composing an email to the right hand side here. At the very top here, it says from with your usual long at protonmail.com domain email address. If you have upgraded your ProtonMail account, then of course you'll have the option to use your short domain email address. To use it, all you need to do is left click on this arrow here in the from section and you'll be greeted with a drop down list of all the email addresses that you can use on your ProtonMail account. Your ProtonMail short domain email address will be here and you can simply select it to use it in the next email message that you write. Of course, guys, in this video, I haven't upgraded my ProtonMail free account, and therefore I don't have any other email addresses to choose from from this drop down list, just my primary long domain email address at protonmail.com. All right, guys, that concludes the video on how to activate your ProtonMail short domain at pm.me email address. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.